teid see Kalev Kramo is the best. Kas kana ja peekoniga või salamiga? What we say in chat? Kana ja peekoniga või salamiga? Ja, mulle meeldib lennata, kas sulle meeldib lennata? Ja, muidugi, muidugi. Air Baltic mõnus ka, ruumi jalgedel. Ja nüüd kõik, vaadake, palun sinna. Kristjan kitsin, kuivatab oma riideid. Sest tal on kodus kuivati katki, eks? Ja siis peab siin lennujamas. Masseerib kanda ka. Et näita. Kurbiga on mingi räigelt oluline jutt. The Merlins, they're, I think, one, one of the faster teams that we played. Um, they have a lot of shooting. Uh, they have a couple bigs, a uh, big body inside. And, you know, they play the right way, which is the most the dangerous part about, about their team. I think they have um, a multitude of guys who can who can make shots and, and hurt you from the outside. Uh, they have quick quick smart guards who who make the right play can get in paint um, and they they play uh, pretty aggressive defensively so it's going to be a tough matchup for us tomorrow for sure but if we come with the right uh, mental preparation and and um, just play together I think we'll give ourselves a good opportunity to win yeah I definitely feel like Europe Cup is it's obviously my first international experience um, of playing outside of local leagues, so whether that be like Spain or um, obviously Colombia are the two places that I've played before this. Um, the level is definitely higher than uh, anything I've played, played before as far as the qualities of the teams and, and the qualities of the players that are playing. Um, I mean, it's a big game for both of us because uh, I know if we don't win this game, we don't advance. Go on, Lenny. Come on. Mia! Väga ahvat on pakkuvene, võiti enne. Aga see ära läks. Yeah, but no, I would, I would just say, I think we have a really, a really unique team. Um, I think we're a, a, a pretty complete team as well. But the most important factor uh, of this team, I think, is the fact that we just have a bunch of good guys. And I've said that since the beginning. We have a bunch of guys who are, it's just a joy to come to practice every day and be able to, gr be able to work with a, a group of guys who really enjoy playing the game of basketball and enjoy um, each other's, uh, like spending time with each other and stuff like that. And I think if we can continue to to grow on the court and continue to just push through some of the some of the injuries that we've had the past couple weeks and months, um, that we're going to be able to achieve all the goals that we set out at the beginning of the year. And we just got to stay at it. We got to know that 
the basketball season is a season of ups and downs and the best thing that we can do is just continue to keep our head down and continue to work. I mean, like then again, we we had a pretty uh, stout lead going into like the last four minutes, um, but we knew it, this was going to be a team that was going to keep fighting to the end. Basketball is a game of runs, and you know you just sometimes you have to weather the storm of you know teams are going to make shots. Uh, and I thought we did a good job of that when they when they kind of came back, we held our composure and, and ended up getting the win. Yeah, we were up, I think, 12 or 13, and they cut it to three at the end. So uh, I've seen a lot of teams, and I've been on teams where, you know, when teams come back like that with, you know, they got 30 seconds left down three, uh, either they tie the game or they end up winning the game because, you know, the, the momentum shift is uh, is overwhelming. Uh, yeah, there were a few timeouts. They took a timeout, uh, and then I think we took one when they cut it to three. Uh, we just want to get the ball to bounds and just not turn it over. They, We knew they were going to try to run something probably for Stuckey there at the end for a three. So uh, we just wanted to make sure we were communicating the switches properly, making sure they weren't getting any threes. Um, I also told the guys that uh, don't help on like the slips because the two doesn't beat us. So, for instance, like if there's a switch and a guy cuts the basket, that the weak side defender shouldn't help in that position because we don't want the kick out to the open three for the tie. Uh, so just small stuff like that, knowing knowing what can beat you and and um, trying to prevent that. so many so many guys who have a lot of strengths uh, obviously I guess well I'll start at our point of attack Al Gilbert who is just uh, you can tell he's been playing the point guard position a long time the way he reads the floor uh, he's always in attack mode he's just so much of a difference maker when he's out there on the court uh, defensively and offensively um, I think he does a great job of running our team, getting getting us in our spots, and then just applying that pressure on the defense. Him and Sasha as well do a good job of, you know, they're both quick guards that can put a lot of pressure on the defense the way they attack the paint, and both can shoot it from the outside, both very, very capable passers. So anytime you got two guys like that who can, who can push the ball in transition, make their teammates better, and then guard the opposing point guard really well. Those are traits of point guards of usually winning teams. So we're, we're really lucky to have those two guys. Um, I mean, I could go on and on about, uh, you know, Dorbeck, his leadership on this team, being, being with this club as long as he has. Um, he's a guy that I think really kind of keeps us all together as a group. Uh, on and off the floor, um, just his leadership with it's like little things, making sure you know team that we're spending time together, whether it's going on a walk or going out for dinner. Um, 
stuff like that is invaluable. Uh, every every team needs needs a captain who really cares about winning, and I think Dorbeck embodies that better than better than anyone. Um, you know, our our bigs, Kitting, uh, Konochuk, just. I don't think I've played on a team of like having two dead eye, dead eye, just sharpshooters like those guys. Um, that was probably one of my biggest adjustments coming here was uh, recognizing that that those two guys need no time to to get their shots off. So you know whether it's a slip on a screen, hitting them early, and I mean, the numbers speak for themselves with those two guys, uh, with how well they how well they shoot the ball. Um, I could go on and on. You know, uh, Ziggy Ziggy's. Um, I think Ziggy brings a different a different type of energy to our team. Obviously, uh, when he comes in the game, he's just so versatile, and he puts a different type of pressure uh, from a big from a standpoint that I don't think that we have. Um, obviously, Martish is a super, super skilled back to the back to the basket guy with with great touch. Can shoot the fifteen footer and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean Hugo is. Uh, I just when I first when I first got here, I was trying to decipher like what was the best part of Hugo's game, and I quickly found out that his best quality is just how hard he plays. And that's as as a basketball player, you, you always want teammates who play hard with you. You know, that's I th I think me personally, that's the best best trait you can have as a player is knowing that every time you're on the floor, whether it's a loose ball, whether it's a charge, whether it's him just attacking the paint, like he's gonna go 100 percent, and he's not afraid of anything. You know, he plays with no fear. He's always in attack mode, and for his age it's um it's it's pretty impressive to see just to see how aggressive and how fearless he is Thank you.